Project 06 Omega Percent in three, two, one, let's go. So if you didn't check out my Amy Percent playthrough, I highly recommend checking it out. But now it's time for Omega. Omega doesn't get a whole lot of justice in just regular Project 06. His Wave Ocean section's kind of interesting and his um, Dusty Desert is kind of fun to mob through with him, but uh, I figured, you know, a nice three stages. He is a little bit of a slower, more methodical character, though he does have a pretty quick one run speed still. So I figured, why not start by torturing myself with Silver's Dusty Desert? Omega is pretty much the only character other than Silver that I could justify this with because we can actually use his um, melee attack here to hit the balls at a somewhat decent speed, uh, but it also doesn't take up a charge. Now, we can use the Omega shot if we want, um, and it does take up a charge, but... Uh, a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say more unruly than, oh gosh, what am I trying to say? A little bit more unruly than Silver's Psycho Shock, but uh, the Omega Shot doesn't have nearly as much of an area of effect as that, but that wasn't too bad. We got there in under a minute, so works out for me. And I figured, you know, uh, Silver can hover, Omega can hover. Well, I guess Silver can levitate is more accurate, and Omega hovers, but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Omega's just really hampered by this airspeed, man. That's why we're only going through three stages, because our top speed is just not that quick. However, when we gotta defeat enemies, oh baby, it's gonna be great, and, um, we'll be seeing a lot of that when we, uh, especially get to the next couple stages as well of Aquatic Base and Flame Core, of course. Thankfully, we don't need the runes. The door is just open here. If you're wondering how I'm accomplishing this at all, I'm using the Character Switcher mod by Beats, as well as the Randomizer by Beats. Don't want to bore you to death with repetitive commentary, so if you are interested in how I'm actually doing this, recommend checking out the Amy bio. But, or not the Amy bio, the Amy speedrun. Uh, but I also recommend checking out the Amy bio as well, I guess. Uh, it's pretty good over on the main channel. You're currently on the second channel. Hmm, I didn't think about this. Thankfully, this random box is here. <laughs> Without that random wooden box, if I had destroyed it, we would have gotten soft locks. So I guess, <laughs> thanks. You know? Oh yeah, that's right. We are using the randomizer, so we do get a spring there. For the poor souls that can't double jump, I wonder if we could have found a way to do it. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, I was thinking we had to defeat some enemies here, but we're actually going through this in reverse uh, than Omega, rather than what Omega goes normally through it, which is uh, kind of neato. What I'm going to do is hover back over, and then we'll be able to finish off Dusty Desert. The ball puzzle is going to be... That's going to be something. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to be very careful with how I use my Omega shot, and I have a lot less control over the Omega shot than I do the, uh, what's the, what's the thing? The Psycho Smash, yeah, that, so. We'll see how that goes, but thankfully up until then, Omega can literally just decimate everything. His combat abilities are so fun. I recommend this, I, I remember specifically talking about this in the tier list video, is that I highly, highly, highly recommend just, like, going into any of, like, silver or shadow stages and mobbing with Omega, and that's kind of what I wanted to demonstrate here is just how fun it is to just mob through all of these things with these guys. And you know what? We'll do a little crowd pleasing after I defeat uh, these guys. Oh, I didn't know Omega had invincibility frames during his melee attack. That's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip that Gatling gun mode for this wave of enemies here. Thankfully, we can still move around a little bit so we can avoid those gunshots. And then, uh, all puzzle time. Here we go. <laughs> okay, this is going to be... This is going to be something. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do it. Now, thankfully, I know how to abuse this just a little bit because if you nudge a character against the billiard ball, the billiard ball loses all of its speed. So, uh, if it's going into the call... In, into a hole, I can just kind of nudge against it, and we won't have too big of a problem here. I'm going to save my Omega shots for the end when we pretty much have it uh, dead on. Fun fact, too, is you actually can use Gatling gun mode to hit the ball as well, but it does take up a charge for every bullet. So your countdown will go down very, very quickly if you do it that way. I think we just keep pushing this. 
as I try to figure out something to talk about. I wish I had something to talk about, but I, I don't. I guess I can plug that I stream every <laughs> every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. CST, and uh, you can find you can find a link to that. It's the very first link in the description, as well as I have a link to a time zone converter if you don't live in the central time zone, even though it's the canon time zone. That's what C and CSD stands for, but uh, everyone who doesn't live in it, I guess, they can, um, can find it that way. No! <laughs> oh, that's what I get for... Get for being rude. Where is the ball? You know, I remember this being an issue in the randomizer before. Why? Well, I mean, you know, the goal ring's right there. Is there, uh, is there any character we can, like, flip through with? Can I homing attack the goal ring? I do know that the homing attack can go through collision, but I think the goal ring is just a little bit too far away. Do I call it a victory anyway? <laughs> the ball's not here. We won. Victory. Now it's time. Now it's time to go into aquatic base. <laughs> oh, what a disaster! Regardless, let's go ahead and switch to Omega here, and now we get to see the true potential of his combat prowess. Now that we're in a shadow stage that he doesn't normally play in, of course. Gosh, the Omega shot is just so nice. It really is. Just uh, being able to defeat enemies so quickly while on the move is so good. Especially with how slow Omega moves. He needs he needs every bit of flow to his movement that he can get. Oh man, that's satisfying. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we should be able to make this hover. We do. Nice. What? Oh, Shadow, what are you doing here, buddy? This is Omega Percent. Can't be playing as, as Shadow in any of this. Uh, yep. That breaks. Oh, that completely breaks. Good thing there's a checkpoint right there. I thought that, uh, I thought that I could chain jump with the randomizer. I guess maybe that was an earlier version. Uh, or maybe just Omega can't chain jump. Hmm. Can I make this? Oh, the skill. Oh, gosh. I don't know if Omega actually... Yeah, he's not affected by the wind, but thankfully, Hover coming in clutch right there. We're able to uh, continue on with the stage, which is nice. Having gun mode will actually be really nice here. Thankfully, the energy cores is kind of filling our ammo back up, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. Ooh, oh right, there's a spring here. I keep forgetting that I'm playing with the randomizer and being like, oh, Omega won't be able to do this, but he can. Very nice. Into section two, which unfortunately, section two of Shadow's Aquatic Base is not too terribly interesting, uh, but it'll be pretty cool at the end. It's kind of like, honestly, I really think that this is the lamest section in the entire game. Uh, the only thing that's cool about it is the fight that you do at the very end, but it's a hallway and then you do some automation, and it's not Sonic's Aquatic Base. In Sonic's Aquatic Base, there's some platforming there, but it just goes all the way across. And then we just go down another hallway. And when you're playing with Shadow, I mean, this is like barely any input from the player. You're just spin dashing, which is uh, cool to do every once in a while. But uh, Aquatic Base, I think, is a really cool stage for Sonic. But I don't think because of how linearly they set up Aquatic Base compared to the other stages in the game, it's just not that interesting when done in different configurations. But I will say that Silver Section 1 is kind of interesting because you get to do what Sonic does, but backwards. That's pretty cool. But uh, other than that, Aquatic Base doesn't really do a whole lot of justice for any character outside of Sonic. There's no strength in Maybe the Omega shot doing some extra damage. These worms right here have 6 HP, which is the most you see in the game. Uh, so... <laughs> the Omega shot doing 2 damage is very nice. Then hop up here, I ran out of, uh... Action gauge. So I can't perform the Omega shot anymore. Okay. For a second there, I thought that I performed the Omega shot without action gauge, but that's not how that works. Hey, thankfully, this is just a leader, so we can just beat him up right there, and... 
Booyah! Omega percent? Or, not Omega percent done. We got one more stage. But, uh, we're almost there. Looks like three stages was the right amount of time. Granted, about two to three minutes was taken up on the Dusty Desert Balls, but... It was nice to have a little bit of variety. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's only only so much you can do. Let's see. Now we have to go to Silver and do Flame Core. Obviously, none of Sonic stages. Omega does not work very well in them. We'll have to wait for another character run for that. But also, like we did for Amy's Percent, I want you guys to guess what, uh, what run's going to be next. You know, are we going to... You know, we got a couple characters left, so we decided to see. I guess whoever wins gets, uh, gets a cookie? I don't, I don't know. I didn't really think up any sort of reward. <laughs> Come on. Nice. It should work just fine. At least we're getting to see parts of the sections we normally go through with characters, uh... Or sections we... The sections we normally go through and skip a bunch of stuff, we get to actually see a lot of different things. Okay. Haley's running. Haley's running back. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what is this... What is this spike ball doing here? I know this is supposed to be like a speed run, but I don't think I've ever seen that spike ball before. Oh, is it for this? Is it for this? Again, because we have the randomizer, we automatically activate runes. No. Huh. I don't know why that spike ball is there. I guess maybe if you miss the spring, it can get in the way of your hovering. Pretty cool. Also, I just realized that this is kind of a uh, Omega end of the world type stuff we're doing right now, which is pretty cool. Okay. The Omega shot taken... Or, sorry, the Omega... The Omega Launcher? I think the Omega Launcher is the thief shooter. No, the Omega Launcher is this move. Lock on shot. That's what this one is called. Oh, my goodness. The runes uh, constantly activate, so that's the sound you were hearing right there because I was standing next to the rune. It was just constantly playing the activation sound over and over again. But we can get the invincibility and do this section kind of fast and also get some semblance of a, of a Badnik bounce with Omega, which is cool. Go, go, go! I know he's a two-ton robot, but I would much prefer if he had... <laughs> if he had better airspeed. Oh, I can't avoid this enemy formation. We're gonna have to do that. This should be really easy. All these guys take one hit. And two of these guys take one hit and just do one more... Two more shots right there to take care of the golem. Open up the door here. Oh, Haley's running again. So much running going on. You're not gonna get in my way, Iblis. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try to feather. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it all the way. Maybe, maybe. Oh man, dude, that airspeed was just enough <laughs> to make it all the way through. How incredible! Alrighty, section two is going to be interesting. Uh, I'll be curious to see how the cutscene plays out at the very end. I've never, never done this with. Uh, I don't know if I've ever encountered this section with the uh, in the randomizer before. I'm sure I did, but it's been a long time since I've done one of those runs, so who knows? What is that thing? Let's see. This should be pretty simple here. It's just platforming. Since Omega and Silver move in a very similar way, then. Shouldn't be much of an issue. We get to defeat a couple enemies, though. <laughs> oh, man. I'm very excited for Team Attack Amigo because we will be going through sections of the game that are, in fact, catered toward Omega. So it'll be a little bit more uh, action-packed, I would imagine. Uh, but who knows? Maybe Team Attack Amigo will cause Chaos to make a few changes to Omega's moves to be a little bit more platforming attuned. I mean, his Wave Ocean is pretty condensed, his section of Wave Ocean, so you don't really notice it, but that's kind of a thing with a couple of the characters in Project 06 is that once you put them in some more spread out locations, they feel very slow. I know, like, Tails is one that comes to mind. But granted, I mean, I don't blame the way that they were made for Project 06 because 
the sections are heavily catered toward the character that plays them, so it makes sense that the speed would be adjusted accordingly, and if you were to put them in situations that they're normally not supposed to be in, things will be a little bit weird. I would say, though, that out of all the Amigos, maybe Blaze is the one that has the most transferable speed, uh, speed tech and stuff. I mean, she basically plays mostly like Sonic without the gems, so kind of makes sense. Uh, I think I should be able to make this. Oh, yeah. Easy. Activate this rune, wait for another shockwave here. And we should be good to get on top of the orb. Let's see what happens. Okay, cutscene still plays out. <laughs> Works for me. Now the lava is cooled, we can just run right along. And when we hit the goal ring here, that is going to be it for Omega Percent. Coming out at a very, very nice time. Very cool. Now, of course, Omega's going to face the side because this is a silver stage and uh, he, his victory animation, he faces sideways. So a little bit awkward, but pretty funny seeing how chunky Omega really is. Uh, again, like I said, during Silver's Dusty Desert, but with no ball puzzle to annoy me this time, I stream every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. CST. You can find uh, a link. It's the first link in the description. Uh, you're currently on my second channel. Main channel is Stumble98, where I put more of my high effort stuff that you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, come GDQ week because I got a lot of stuff planned for it. Regardless, thank you all so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.